Hi, I'm Laura and I'm here at Cats Protection in Hazelmere and today I'm here with this big gentle giant whose name is Ted. Now, Ted's a little bit shy so he might want to hide in his box but hopefully he'll stay out here and enjoy the story. Today I've got for you Dogger. So let's find out all about Dogger. Once there was a soft brown toy called Dogger. One of his ears pointed upwards and the other flopped over. His fur was worn in places because he was quite old. He belonged to Dave. Dave was very fond of Dogger. He took him everywhere. Sometimes he gave him rides in a trolley. Sometimes he pulled him along on a lead made of string like a real dog. When it was cold, he wrapped him up in a blanket. Now and again, Dave's mum said that Dogger was getting much too dirty. She showed Dave how to wash him in a bowl of soapy water. Then they hung him up by his tail on the washing line to dry. Dave's baby brother Joe liked hard toys. He liked putting them in his mouth and biting on them because he was getting teeth. Dave's big sister Bella took seven teddies to bed with her every night. She had to sleep right up against the wall to stop herself from falling out. But Dave only liked Dogger. One afternoon, Dave and Mum set out to collect Bella from school. Mum took Joe in the pushchair and Dave took Dogger. Next to the school gate where the mums waited was a playing field. Some men with ladders were putting up coloured flags. Mum said that there was going to be a summer fair to get money to buy things for the school. Dave pushed Dogger up against the railings to show him what was going on. Just then the children started to come out of school. An ice cream van came round the corner playing a tune. Bella ran up with her satchel flying. Mum, can we have an ice cream? Mum gave her the money for two cones. Joe didn't have a whole ice cream to himself because he was too dribbly. On the way home, Dave walked beside the pushchair giving Joe licks off his ice cream. Joe kicked his feet about and shouted for more in between licks. At tea time, Dave was rather quiet. In the bath he was even quieter. At bedtime he said, I want Dogger. But Dogger was nowhere to be found. Mum looked under the bed. She looked behind the cupboard. She searched in the kitchen and underneath the stairs. Dave watched anxiously through the banisters. Joe watched through the bars of his cot. Bella joined in to look for Dogger. She turned out her own toy box in case he was in there, but he wasn't. When Dad came home, he looked for Dogger too. He searched in the shed and down the garden path with a torch. But Dogger was quite lost. Dave was very sad when he went to bed. Bella kindly lent him one of her teddies to go to sleep with, but it was not the same thing as Dogger. Dave kept waking up in the night and missing him. The next day was Saturday and they all went to the school summer fair. The playing field was full of stalls and sideshows. There was a fancy dress parade. Then there were sports with an egg and spoon race, a wheelbarrow race and a father's race. Bella was very good at races. She won the three-legged race with her friend Barbara. Wouldn't you like to go in for a race, they asked Dave. But Dave didn't feel like racing. He was missing Dogger too much. Then another very exciting thing happened to Bella. She won first prize in a raffle. It was a huge yellow teddy bear wearing a beautiful blue silk bow. He was almost as big as Dave. Dave didn't like that teddy at all. That moment he didn't like Bella much either because she kept on winning things. He went off on his own to look at the stalls. 
One lady had a toy stall full of knitted ducks and cars and baby dolls in bonnets. And there, at the very back of the stall, behind a lot of other toys, was... Dogger. He was wearing a ticket saying 5p. There were a lot of people round the stall. Dave tried to explain to the lady that it was his dogger who had got lost and somehow been put on the stool by mistake, but she wasn't listening. He looked in his pocket. He had 3p, but that wasn't enough. He ran to find Mum and Dad to ask them to buy dogger back at once. Dave went everywhere in the crowd, but he couldn't see Mum and Dad. He thought he was going to cry. At last he found Bella by the cakes. When she heard about dogger, she ran. And, and, and Dave ran back to the toy stall as fast as they could. But something terrible had happened. Dogger had just been bought by a little girl. She was already walking away with him. Dave began to cry. Bella ran after her and tried to explain that Dogger really belonged to Dave. And could they please buy him back? But the little girl said no. She said that she'd bought Dogger with her own money and she wanted him. She held on to him very tightly. Dave cried and cried and the little girl started to cry too. But out of the corner of her eye she caught sight of Bella's big yellow teddy. She stopped crying and put out her hand to stroke his beautiful blue silk bow. Then Bella did something very kind. Would you swap this teddy for my brother's dog then, she asked. Right away the little girl stopped crying and began to smile. She held out Dogger to Dave and took the big teddy instead and went off with him in her arms. Then Dave smiled too. He hugged Dogger and he hugged Bella round the waist. Thank you Bella, he said. That night Dave and Dog Dave had Dogger in bed beside him. Bella was practising somersaults. Will you miss that big teddy? Dave asked her. No, said Bella. I didn't like him much really. He was too big and his eyes were too staring. Anyway, if I had another teddy in my bed, there wouldn't be room for me. And that's the end. Bella's in bed with her seven teddies. And Dave's curled up with his beloved Dogger. I'm glad that story ended happily and I'm glad Ted has come out to see us and enjoy the story. As you can see he's a lovely big boy, he just wants to be friends, he's just a little bit shy. So he'll be, he'll be looking for his new home once he's feeling all better, he's just had some poorly teeth. But uh, he's doing well and hopefully we'll find him a home soon. I hope you enjoyed today's story, I've got my next book ready and I look forward to bringing it to you soon. Bye for now.